Welcome to Lethal Engineering, the deadliest show on the internet. Today I'm going to show you how to build this, a solar death ray. I had originally built a solar death ray in high school as a project for math class. I got the idea from an episode of Mythbusters where Jamie and Adam tried to replicate Archimedes' solar death ray. Why did I decide to rebuild it? Just reliving the high school glory days, I suppose. A solar death ray works by taking the rays from the sun and focusing them on one point using a grid of mirrors. To focus all of those mirrors, we're going to do that process in reverse. I'm going to mount a light at the focus and then adjust each mirror so that the light shines directly upwards. It'll make sense as I build. The first thing I did was build the two squares, a base square and a focusing square. After building the base square, I built an identical focusing square. The base square holds all the mirrors, and then the focusing square is used to focus the mirrors. I drew a grid on each of the squares. Each of the mirrors is about 3 by 3 inches, and I left a quarter inch in between mirrors. I attached four legs to the focusing grid so I could position it four feet away from the base grid. I then drilled a hole in the focusing grid to mount up the light. I drilled two holes in each square. Added two screws. and then adjusted the screws until the light pointed directly up at the corresponding square on the focusing grid. This got repeated over and over. Drill holes, add screws, adjust screws until light aimed directly above. If you think this was a long and tedious process, you'd be correct. I did this for hours. Next, I had to hot glue a mirror to each square on its screws. I have a pot glue in the corner of the square as well as on each screw. After building a base with some caster wheels on it, it was time to destroy some stuff. All right, let's go find some stuff to burn. Pretty gnarly. It smells like uh, birthday candles and cancer. 
for this next test, I want to see how hot I can heat up metal. I've got a metal shovel and a temperature gun. 58, 300, 470, 500, 600, there and out. Instantly boils. Red Solo Cup. That's one of the cooler ones. Right when it gets in that focus, it just immediately shrivels up. Souvenirs. I thought we'd get at least one kernel of a pop. Nothing. It does have a nice buttery popcorn smell out here now though. And a nice mess. A nice butter and oil mess. Making popcorn take two. Kernels, vegetable oil. Not the most efficient way to cook popcorn, but I got some to pop. Day number two. Let's start with MM. Melt in your mouth and your solar death ray. Double stuffed Oreos. I don't trust anybody who buys single stuffed Oreos. They know double stuffed exists, right? Am I gonna eat them? Uh, of course. Can't let these Oreos go to waste. Oh, <laughs> uh oh. Mmm. Not too bad. Kind of chewy. I think roasted Oreos could be a thing. Chocolate bar. Uh, this one's kind of obvious, but whatever. of a mess here. The ants are gonna love this. Pringles. Place your bet below on whether this just pops open. Oof. Oof. There it goes. Roasted Pringles are shot. That's still hot. Just the tip. Eh, kind of a letdown. Corn on the cop. delicious. The sun has gone behind the clouds, so I don't think I'm going to get any good death reaction for the rest of the day. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, you'll also enjoy my other videos. 
You can also subscribe down below to be notified of all my future projects. I'm currently 3D printing a life-size R2-D2 as well as building a robotic lawnmower. Stay tuned.